question, Maxie. Why are you here? Because the police are going to get a search warrant on this place sooner or later. My guess is that it's going to be sooner, and I don't want them finding any compromising photos Franco might have taken of me. Well, I doubt these pictures are worth your life. That just means you don't know me very well. Okay. What if Franco would be there? Then I will convince him to give me the photos and do the shoot for Crimson. Maxie, you're really not getting this. Franco is a killer, and no one knows how to stop him. Yeah, but Franco could come back here. You're just invading my personal space. What, what if this is a trap or, or a setup or something? If it were, we would both be dead. And I would really like to get this over with and get out of here. So maybe you should be helping me. All right, fine. What are you looking for? You'll know it when you see it. Is it really worth risking your life to get these pictures? If these photos get to the media, I won't have a life. Kate will fire me, as she should, for being stupid. I made Crimson look bad, and, and I took compromising photos taken by a psychopath, which means nobody else will be hiring me either. Okay, I'll help you look, but let's just make it fast, okay? What, what is it? There's specs for a bomb. Well, how do you, how do you know that that's for a bomb? It just looks like a bunch of sketches and some numbers. I call it an educated guess. Well, it could be a setup for his next art installation, so maybe we should just calm down and take a deep breath and look at Franco for what he really is. A strange uh, artist who's very weird, but probably not dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, tell that to Sam McCall. You know, the more I think about that, the more I believe that Sam really is okay. Franco probably just convinced her to let him take some pictures and they're off someplace artistic. Yeah? Then why hasn't she called? Because Franco likes to be really mysterious. I'm sure Sam is annoyed, but he wouldn't hurt her. Well, I disagree with that. Look, everything Franco does is, like, for show. It, it, it's like Spinelli, kind of, you know? Franco gets this idea of something in his head, like death. And he wonders, you know, what it's about, who's responsible for it, all those icky chalk outlines. He thinks about nothing else. Makes piles of piles of money off of it. Just like Spinelli in his, his Mighty Warriors of the Cosmos Part 9. What, the video game? Yeah, Spinelli loves it. He got it and got to the last level and racked up a zillion points in just a few hours. Just like Franco makes a fortune off his interpretations of violence and death. Y you know, that actually makes uh, sense. Yeah, Franco manipulates these dark images to make them say what he wants as an artist, but sometimes, like Spinelli, he forgets where reality ends and the game begins. Okay, Maxie, listen to yourself. If this guy is losing his grip on what's real and what's fake, he's more dangerous than ever. Connie, uh, I promise I will take care of it. Yes, as, as soon as you let me get off the phone, okay? Yes, fine. Hi, um, what are you doing here? And where is Lulu? Um, I don't know where Lulu is, but your boss is so mad that her calls are rolling over into voicemail that she called me at work and insisted I come up here and figure out what's Thank going you. On. I can't believe Lulu left. I told her I would be back as soon as I could. Well, you will get to explain that to Kate, who will no doubt be calling back in under five seconds. I'm sure Kate will understand that I was dealing with the Franco fallout. Is that where you went? Yeah, I stopped by his studio just for a second. I still haven't given up on the idea of Franco doing the shoot for Crimson, and if I can convince him of that, I will be just as famous in my world as Franco is in his. Okay. Has anyone in either world pointed out that this guy is an unmitigated whack job? I don't care how famous he is or how much he gets to charge for the so-called works of art. This guy is a sociopath. <sighs> but you've never met him. I don't need to meet him to know that the guy's dangerous. You're lucky that you got away from this guy. He's an artist. He's allowed to be a little weird, and yes, he's obsessed with violence and death, but at least he found a way to make money off his area of interest. This has got nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with money, Olivia. Franco likes to go around saying and doing outrageous things, and then he folds it all back into his work. Just because he likes to act like a psycho killer doesn't mean he actually is one. Or maybe you just don't want to admit that you got taken in. Honey, I know how hard Kate was pushing you to get this photo shoot, okay? You're young, you're ambitious, you're beautiful. The guy took advantage. Maybe a little. Maxie, you got nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, just don't rationalize yourself into another dangerous situation. Okay, if you hear from this Franco guy, if you see him walking down the street, you don't walk, you run in the opposite direction.
Actually. I'm busy. Uh, can I just go over a couple things with you? I'm expecting a phone call from Kate. Great. Uh, when you were at Franco's ransacking his place, can you just tell me what you saw? I didn't find anything. The place was a mess. But maybe you thought something was important and it could actually help I really don't have time out. to do this right now, okay? Kate is very upset. Lulu chose today of all days to just walk out of the office. I actually thought she was with you because she's refusing to answer her cell phone. Do you have any idea where Lulu might be? I don't know. Maybe it's another family crisis. Isn't it unusual for Lulu to walk off the job, especially on a day where she said she'd cover for you? Wait, I know where you're what going What if Franco with this. took Lulu?